Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome everyone again for management of foreign body aspiration. Today we will explain this topic using style one of the flow charts. Uh, we will go through each step in our next uh, uh, lecture. We will explain the same topic but with a different approach uh, using style two of the flow charts. Uh, this will allow us to see this from another perspective and deepen our understanding. So let's begin. Uh, with the style one, uh, when a large body enters the uh, trachea or bronchus, such as the tooth or the dental instrument, immediately stop the dental tree. Position the patient in a sitting posture to facilitate cuffing. Instruct the patient to try to cuff the object out. Ace cuffing may expel the aspirated material if the airway is partially obstructed. For conscious patient with persistent symptoms. Perform Heimlich maneuvers to expel the foreign body. Administer supplemental oxygen to maintain oxygenation. Call medical help and continuously monitor the patient's vital signs. Transport the patient to an emergency care facility for further management. Now let's uh, explain how to perform abdominal thrusts on an unconscious patient with an airway obstruction. Uh, first lay the dental chair Play. Next, place the heel of your right hand on the patient's abdomen just below the zephyte process. Make sure to keep your elbow straight and place your left hand over your right for extra force. Finally, push your arms quickly into the abdomen, directing the force downwards and upwards. The heel of the hand is the area at the base of the metacarpal bones in the proximal part of the palm in front of the basis of the bones. Now, let's take a look at the proper positioning for the Heimlich maneuver. Uh, stand behind the patient and place your hands on their abdomen just below the rib cage. Quickly pull your hands inward into the abdomen. This action uses any remaining air in the lungs to try and dislodge the obstruction from the airway. This photograph shows how to do abdominal thrusts on an unconscious patient who has something blocking their airway, first place the chair in a lying down position. Then put the heel of your right palm on the abdomen just below the zephyte process, keeping your elbow straight. Put your left hand over your right hand for more force. Quickly push your arms into the patient's abdomen, directing the force downward and upward. This is another photograph. This shows the correct way to do the Heimlich maneuver. The rescuer stands behind the patient and places their hands on the patient's abdomen just below the rib cage. The rescuer then quickly pulls their hand into the abdomen uh, area. The rescuer then quickly pulls their hands into the abdomen area to try to push any remaining air in the lungs to dislodge the obstruction from the airway. Now come back uh, to where we left. If the symptoms are absent or resolved, but the clinician is unsure if the foreign body was aspirated, uh, administer supplemental oxygen. Continuously monitor the patient's vital signs. Transport the patient to an emergency care facility for chest and abdominal radiographs to rule out asymptomatic aspiration. Bronchoscopy may be necessary to locate and remove the foreign body. If the patient become unconscious, immediately have someone call for medical assistance. Uh, place the patient in a supine position to perform abdominal thrusts. After each thrust, turn the patient on their side and perform a finger sweep to remove any foreign body. Uh, attempt to ventilate the patient. Start basic life support if the patient is able to ventilate. Uh, administer oxygen to ensure adequate oxygenation. Uh, transport the patient to an emergency care facility for further evaluation and treatment. If the ventilation is not possible, repeat the abdominal thrusts and finger sweep twice. If the airway remains obstructed, perform laryngoscopy to try to remove the obstruction with McGill forceps. If laryngoscopy is unsuccessful and the patient is hypoxic, an emergency cricothyrotomy may be necessary to establish an airway. Thank you. Wish you best of luck.